morning. The wind's picked up a little bit. Go figure, we're at the Oregon coast. Wasn't too bad in my little uh, hole here, but uh, definitely sounds like it's picked up. Looks like we're in for another blue sky clear day. I think I'm gonna pack things up, go back the way I came, get back to the car and drive down the coast a little farther. Maybe uh, check out another section of dunes before I start heading north again. It's amazing all this fits in a backpack. <laughs> My name is David Patton. When I started photography, I wanted to make art. I wanted to be a landscape photographer. But with a family to feed and bills to pay, I decided it would be better to be a working photographer than a starving artist. So I took a job as a photojournalist. 25 years and thousands of assignments later, it was time to go back to my first love. It was time to follow my passion. Come along on my journey to become the best black and white photographer I can be. Whether it be film or digital, I will be sharing what I learned through my successes and my failures in hopes to inspire and educate. This is my journey. This is right in the edge. It's been a while since I've, well, it's been a long time since I've done any uh, solo backpacking. I gotta admit it, I didn't feel all that comfortable. I feel a little uneasy last night. I think it'll just take some time to get used to doing that again by myself. You know, every, every sound in the woods just is amplified <laughs> when you're by yourself. I didn't sleep all that well, but that's nothing new. I don't, even when I'm with people, I don't usually sleep all that well out in the woods. That's just, you know, that's just the way it is. Boy, I wish I could find one of these trees and make an image. Just, there's no way to get it to stand out from the background. Just so much clutter, but there's some really cool trees here. I don't know. I'm hoping for one to jump out. I hope to hear the angels sing and and uh, say, here it is, here's the shot. But I don't. see one I mean it's it's extremely beautiful just not I just don't see a lot of photogenic areas some cool reflections but it's too windy ah. <laughs> this is frustrating I mean there's there's so much potential here but uh, I'm not seeing it I'm in photo mode today. Sure like to come home with some shots. I haven't gone out too often and not brought something home. So hopefully this isn't that one of those days. I mean I'm on the Oregon coast for God's sakes. <laughs> There's gotta be a there's gotta be some interesting photos around here. Well, I did find something to photograph. Uh, this really kind of interesting contrast. I don't know what this stuff is, this light color stuff, but it contrasts with the uh, green foliage. It might make an interesting texture type picture. This light isn't really good for the forest type shots. But I'm trying to get something here because I, I really, I've, I'm not, I've never seen anything like this before. It's kind of unusual. For me it's kind of some kind of moss or fungus type thing but it's kind of interesting it's uh really just really thick in here 
So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna make a couple compositions in here. I I like the the contrast between the light and the, and the dark in here. Just wish the light was a little more even. But you know, you work with what you got. These look like dunes. It's a, little, a little bit more what I had in mind. Just wish it was a different time of day. These are a little more clean. Pretty expansive. Not sure what to photograph. But there's hope here that I might find something. It's pretty windy. Just wish the sun wasn't so high. Get a little bitter the texture on the sand. Definitely one of those places I'm gonna to have to come back to. I think I finally found the dunes I'm I'm gonna to want to work in. It's just they're so they're so big. <laughs> I, I need to explore more uh, areas and uh, it's gonna change just by the hour, by the season, the light, the way the, the wherever the light is is gonna determine what part of the dune you're gonna to want to shoot. pretty cool. I was kind of hoping for this where I was yesterday. I just kind of wish it wasn't so windy. <laughs> Wah! Can't have everything. I found my shot. I thought this was a person standing in the sand. I was way, way over there. <laughs> and I saw this sticking out of the sand, I thought, with these, li with these shadowed lines on the front and, 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 front and back of, the, of the, the old tree. I thought, there's my shot right there. It's taken me almost an hour to get here. And I'm quite happy with the composition. I just hope it turns out. I'm shooting it with a 150 millimeter lens, slightly compressed. Got some cool lines through it. And with, the, with that nice anchor point in the center there, kind of off to the side, that tree. I might get a couple wide angle shots now, I think. This is what I came for. I'm pretty happy. there's where I took the last shot today. So I think I'm going to end today's video right here. It's been a fun couple days. 
Not a whole lot of photos, but uh, I got enough. I'll have something to show you in the video. So until next time, thanks for coming along for the ride.